Hey there, viewers. Della here, and welcome back to Japanese School Life. What I hope is the final episode. I'm about to meet Chiyoko for Hatsumode, which is some sort of celebration of the gods or something, and there's going to be a little... Or with Arisa. I thought it was supposed to be with Chiyoko. Okay. Little girls, kimonos, something like that. Akibaskao, oh, Hanava, to you too. Thanks for the racial slur, Risa. <laughs> Japanophile? <laughs> Listen, you don't have any proof of that. You can't prove that I fuck Japanese stuff. I mean. Is that even a word? Japanophile. According to Wikipedia, Japanophilia refers to the appreciation and love of Japanese culture, people, or history. In Japanese, the term for Japanophile is Shinichi, with Shin equivalent to the English prefix bro, and Nichi meaning Japanese. Well, there you go, guys. You don't have to be all about fucking stuff to be a blankophile. A mixture of embarrassment and joy rises up from within. Time to get superstitious. Very superstitious. Riding on the wall. There are so many people, but not Chiyoko, the person who I was supposed to come to this with in the first place. As I specifically remember, me and, me and Chiyoko came to this exact shrine and she was like, oh, there'll be a bunch of people and there's some event where you can see kimonos and stuff. And he's like, I'd like to see one of those up close. But now I'm here with Arisa and she wasn't even part of this in the first place. Well, there we go. Brian's asking about Choco. He's like, oh, why isn't she here? She's supposed to be like the person who I came with. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to know how to go to a shrine and not be idiots, because I'm sure all of us are being, you know, we're just going to be going to these shrines on these events and stuff, because that's why I bought this game is because I wanted to learn so much about the Japanese culture. We're going to, we're going to need this. Full throttle, if you want to sponsor me. I put out some high octane gaming content here on this channel. Hey, what is up, you guys? Welcome to my newest sponsorship video for Full Throttle. We're going to be losing our shit and drinking 20 of these in a single night. I hope I have a heart attack. <laughs> you have to cleanse yourself. Cleanse yourself of your dirty weeb sweat. So apparently, you're washing yourself with gravy. You just take the ladle of gravy and just bask in it. So in Japan, the left hand is sacred, but I've heard in like India, I think, or somewhere like that, if you use your left hand to like try and shake someone's hand, it's fucked up because you're supposed to wipe your ass with your left hand. Cultures are weird, man. I can't really think of anything specific like that to North America, where it's like bad practice to use certain gestures in certain ways, you know? I mean, yeah, flipping someone off is shitty. <laughs> No, no, don't worry about it, Risa. You can take off your clothes. No, no one's gonna mind. <laughs> it's Chiyoko, she's here. Alright, I mean, she looks pretty good. Sick kimono. I think it looks fluffy. Ooh, I can hear my heart pounding. <laughs> I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> I was trying to do the thriller. Uh-oh. We gotta make another wish. 
I hold several wishes in my heart. I wish for. It's just an exact ripoff of the wishes from earlier where I wrote them down. <laughs> Like, why can't... Por que no las dos? You know? Like, why can't we just have both of them? But I guess I'll stick with the not crazy one. The stuck-up mom instead. <laughs> He's so hyped about learning Japanese stuff, and it's like, man, you could have a good thing going here if you just forget about culture and think about the real goal in mind, which is... I mean, you know. You know. <laughs> Brian's like, I'm so sorry for asking your wish. That must have been a weird thing to do. But remember, the first time we made wishes, Arisa like ripped them out of our hand and was like, oh, let's check this shit out. And then she just like started tossing her wishes in our face and like showing us everything. Like, oh yeah, I want... I want to wear cute clothes and eat some food and get booked. I don't know how much 100 yen is. I think it's pretty cheap from what Brian said like in a few episodes ago. But like, I gotta pay for your fortune. <laughs> Brian's gonna die. Confirmed. Yep, you got the worst result, Brian. You're gonna die on your plane ride back. Can I get a second chance, he says. <laughs> Listen, man. You can't just try and change your fate. I know. If you could change your fate, would you? You can't. It's just as simple as that. I I've never seen that movie, so maybe you can. I don't know. See? That's good logic. See, Arisa's like, you know, Brian, you're going to die anyway, so what do you got to lose? Just do some crazy shit before you take your flight back and die. The otaku in me wants to see... Okay. Listen, Brian, you don't have an otaku in you. You're not like, oh, you know, I've got a part of me that's otaku. Like, Brian's just straight up shithead otaku. Like, like, and I'm not saying all otaku are shitheads. I'm just saying Brian is 100% shithead and 100% otaku. It goes hand in hand. He can't act like there's only half of him that is. <laughs> So, uh, that's a flashback, because when she first talked to you in the classroom, she said that exact same thing, I'm pretty sure. Ohio. 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 That's where I'm from. Oh, Ohio. The fuck's wrong with you guys? like the same waste she had the last seven hours of this game. <laughs> Personally, I feel like you don't really have to. <sighs> Both of you already look too skinny. You never say that to a girl. You you never say you look too anything. Unless you're just looking to piss him off. I worry about you sometimes. That's even worse. He's like, do you guys have an eating disorder? I want you fatter! I'm gonna eat you. You're both attractive enough already. That was a pretty ballsy play from Brian. They look surprised. <laughs> Domo arigato. Brian's so awkward. He needs to just roll with the punches here. Like, when they're super shy, just, like, keep blowing them. Like, keep pulling out crazy shit and throwing it and seeing if it sticks, you know? He's these few moments where he's actually not a beta shitlord. And then he's like, uh, uh, what have I done? Ha, gay you? That's a pretty good thought. I mean, 
if you're just way too lazy to doll yourself up, just cover, cover, you know, like 60% of your face and don't even have to worry about it. More snacks. Time for a reason to get fat again. Got it. I'm sure you can take the whole thing, Chiyoko. Just gotta get warmed up. <laughs> Throwing beans at my dad. <laughs> what a childhood tale. Getting hit by beans sounds painful. No, it doesn't. How hard can you throw a bean? <laughs> Everyone's a bit on edge. I'm sure, Brian's no exception. He's pretty edgy. Hey, yo, why is everyone all fucked up? Valentine's Day. Maybe they'll give me chocolates. It was just a thought. Just a thought. So they take the wussy route, and instead of going up to guys and being like, I kind of like you, and giving them chocolate, they're like, nah, I'm just gonna give it to my friends. Oh, God. <laughs> Brian, do you have something against lesbians? <laughs> she immediately knows where his mind is going to go. <laughs> what a letdown. <laughs> because he's fucking weirdery, so why else would he be let down? Yuri is where dreams are. I totally got my hopes up thinking I'd be able to see some in action. <laughs> He's so cringy. Well, that's good. It's a sublime happiness when guys receive candy from girls. And then he proceeds to say it's especially when it's from cute girls like Choka and Arisa. But they were just talking about how they give it to their dad and grandpa. So yeah, I'm sure that their dad and grandpa are like, man, my daughter is cute and she's giving me candy. <laughs> Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Are you free after school tomorrow? Brian's getting some chocolate. In the end, I didn't manage to probe any further. It's like the story of Brian's life. He's gonna go back to the United States without probing anything. Uh, Aw, they look so cute and... They also need some anti-aliasing, kinda. Look at their hair. For me? Well, of course. Whose chocolate do I try first? Oh my god, they're actually giving me a choice. I don't want to make anyone feel bad, you know? What if I just don't eat them? I'm, I'm not going to choose. Fuck you guys. I don't want your chocolates. Or we'll try both. Whatever. Alright guys. Brian's getting DP'd right now. One is a little bitter while the other is really sweet. The blending of the two results in the perfect balance of sweetness and bitterness. You know there's a deeper metaphor here about the two of... I don't have to explain this to you. They're they're pretty clear about it. <laughs> Risa. It's fucked up. Brian's a white. You can't just tell him that there's a specific day. Jesus. Damn, bitches are greedy over here. 
Chioko's so thoughtful and nice and fuck you, Risa. <laughs> She's such a fat ass. Lord Kotatsu. Oh god. No. Brian's inviting them to his place? You don't want him to see your room, man. No, we're not. We're not. Sh Brian. She's not going to be able to focus. You're just going to give her some mangoes and she won't stop with those. Okay. He said he's going to he said he's going to clean the place up. That's good. We got to get rid of this shit. <laughs> Pretty sure there aren't any weird things lying around. That's That's good, man. Gotta hide your jackrabbit. Yeah. Yeah, this is what his room looks like. I thought he said there wasn't anything weird lying around, but he didn't change anything. He actually wanted to put him away. <laughs> you know, Brian, you could have done alright, but you didn't. Okay, Chioko, you need to slow down, because if you're looking for a reference of what a guy's room looks like, this probably isn't the best idea of what to go off of. I'm just... It's just safe to say that not a lot of guys' rooms probably look like this. The Wrath of Chioko. That's racist. Yeah, Brian, you're a demon. Genji? I love Overwatch. See, that's the way you gotta do it. You gotta get a girl when she's young enough that you can raise her exactly how you want her. That's so fucked up. <laughs> Brian. Oh, you're so weird, dude.